Hey everyone, welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. So the last time we literally just started off and we had Adam over here and his mate Eve right here. Uh, from there, we managed to breed Kirk Duke and his brother Duk Duk. And then we also managed to get Sia from their line. We did then come across Isiko um, and we managed to breed her with um, Kokoduk, I believe, or maybe, and I think it was Duk Duk. Um, and from there we got a baby called Isko, uh, which is quite funny really. It's like she was named after her mother in some way. We also came across this beautiful little creature uh, called Tuvanu, who I do eventually want to breed with Sia when she's a little bit older, um, just because he's got these amazing ram horns. So let's continue from where we finished last time. And there is some rustling off in the bush here, but we're just going to end the turn. And thankfully, we actually have some rain, which is fantastic. So all our berry bushes have been regenerated. Now, thankfully, Tuvanu actually has a berry paw. So his collecting is a lot higher than, say, just Sia, who's only got the two. Now, she has two, as to her, her mother. Tavanu has three, but it makes quite a bit of a difference having that extra point in collecting. So just go ahead and collect these berries. Now, Isco also has a berry paw, which is great, just like her mother, so we'll get her to collect these berries. Now, if we get actually thinking about breeding Adam and Eve one more time, just because both their sons don't have the greatest of genetic pores, they both have the no pore, which is really quite unfortunate, and I want to get like breathe out eventually. So I might actually get Adam to come over here and breathe with Eve one more time. Now I'm hope. Oh no, I actually think Eve. I'm quite colorblind, <laughs> so. I, that reddy colour there is quite hard for me to actually see. I didn't realise how close to death she actually is going to be. Um, yeah, compared to Adam, he's going to live quite a bit longer than Eve, unfortunately. That's a big shame. Yeah, it looks like she's going to die next turn. Um, so she won't actually be able to have that baby. So. A real shame. And um, there's not a lot we can do about that. Well, there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. So I guess I'm just going to have to continue on. Um, yeah, okay. That's a shame. Let's get Duk Duk to collect this meat here. And the little bugger. There's a bunny right in front of Isiko. So let's get her to kill that and get the food. And we'll just expand our territory a little bit more. Just getting to like peek in the grass. There's a little bunny there as well, unfortunately, but it's completely out of reach for us. Um, now, if we get Kirkaduk to just expand territory around here a little bit more, I want to try get these bunny burrows kind of uncovered, just so if there are any bunnies popping out of them, we can actually see. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh. And unfortunately, Eve died, as we suspected. That's a real shame. And unfortunately, she was pregnant at times. So it's kind of all the more worse, really. So, not great. But the stupid bunny is still there, so we'll just get Sia to kill it and take it. And we'll get Tuvanu to harvest these berries. Um, we'll also get Isiko to harvest these berries. And we'll just bring her out of the nest because she's growing up a little bit more now. Um, let's... Ooh. This is the problem as well, I find, with the trees. Sometimes you can't really see um, if there are acorns there. So let's just uncover it and collect what we have. I should uncover these. Um, let's get Duck Duck, bring him over here and just uncover them. Um... Oh, stupid little bunny. 
Okay, so we'll get to manage to kill this bunny, and then next turn we'll be able to collect the meat. Uh, let's see if we can... Ah. Oh, brilliant. Yes, little bunny, you are mine. So we've got two bits of meat to collect next turn, um, which is pretty brilliant. I'm tempted... I'm just going to end the turn here. I want to see if that bunny remains there. Oh, Sia is all grown up now, and Isiko is actually sick. She had the common cold. That's annoying. Let's get her to collect this meat, and then we'll get to Vanu to collect these. And we'll get Adam to collect this here. Um, let's actually let's bring Isiko over here, just so she can collect these berries. And then if we bring Isiko over here, and she can harvest these ones. Um, I don't really want to breed Isiko anymore. I mean, she's getting quite far along in her lifespan, which is unfortunate. Um, but I, I don't really want to keep that spit snout around. I mean, we could try. Um, let's breed Kirkadook with her once more then, and we'll pop her in the nest. I love that purring noise they make. It's really sweet. Um, Adam's going to die soon as well, unfortunately. Let's just get Kirkaduke to expand the grass, I guess. Okay, then we'll end the turn there. Oh, there we go. There's a little baby. <laughs> it's got the spit snout again. Oh no. Okay, this little boy, Rokunu, he doesn't have the greatest of genetics. He's got a normal body, spits now, real legs, but he also has that no paw, which if we can have a quick look on our genetics. We do actually have the berry paw selected, but we have unlocked claws, which is pretty awesome. We really do need to try breed out this no paw, as three of our pack members now have it. Well, four, including Adam, which is not great. Um, we can now breed these two, which is brilliant. So we'll bring Sia over into the nest. Get Tuvanu to harvest these berries. Esco can harvest these for us. Um, let's get... Isco, you can actually have a look in the grass around here, just to expand the territory around the berry bush. Just in case there are any bunnies that keep like popping in and out, sort of thing, trying to get little berries for us. Well, off of us, rather. Um, Kirkaduk, let's bring you up here and you can have a look around here. Duke Duke, um, you can come here and just collect these acorns for us. Um, Adam, seeing as it's going to be your last turn. The only thing we can really do is get you to look in the grass, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess that's that turn. Ugh. And Adam has unfortunately perished. Um, let's just collect these acorns. Um, Okuno, let's bring him. Let's bring him over here just to light this area all up, I guess. And we do have a little girl here. Le Messi. <laughs> Messi. Uh, her jeans are all fine. It has that yellow fur, uh, red mane in her recessive, well, interactive and recessive. She's got two run legs, which is, is okay. I mean, it's, there's always going to be a higher chance because her mum has two run legs and her dad has one. But she has inherited the ram horns and the big body, which is pretty good. So She's got some pretty good overall stats, so she's a good little, she's got a bit of strength, which is quite good. She's stronger than her dad, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll just get Tuvanu to harvest these and get Isco to harvest these ones as well. Um, Le Messi. Okay, let's move Sia out. Um, and let's breed her again. Little, she's going to be breeding machines. <laughs> Isiko, let's um, harvest these berries. And Kirk, Duke Duke. Ah, oh, that was perfect timing, little bunny. Brilliant. 
Okay. Kirkadoop. Come over here. Ah, oh, there's another berry bush. Brilliant. That's what we like to see. Ah, oh, excellent. More rain. And oh no! Isiko actually died. Oh god, I didn't even realise she was that close. Oh no. Um, duck duck, harvest them. Um, and you can actually shake the tree, which is quite cool, and that brings down some more acorns. Um, okay, Le Messi, let's bring you out of the nest now so your mum can hop back in. Um, Tavanu, let's harvest the berries on these. And Isco, you can do the same for us. Kirkduk, Kirkuduk rather. Um, you can harvest these for us. We're getting quite up there in the food now, which is pretty good, but our pack has shrunk considerably, which is not good. Um, see ya. Let's just harvest those remaining ones and end the turn out there. Uh, it looks like we've got another girl. Reese. Okay. Ah, oh, brilliant. So she's got the ram horns, normal body, but she does have a berry paw like her dad, which is brilliant. That's really what we want, um, just because we've got so many berry bushes. Um, she has a red fur and yellow in her recessive, and she has brown mane in active and recessive. She does have black eyes as well, like her mum and her sister, and her colouring appears to be the same as her mum's. And then Le Messi, hers, is pretty much the same as her dad's, which is pretty cool. Um, so if we get to Vanu just to harvest these berries for us, um, Isco to do these ones. Is that bloody no poor? Actually, let's bring him over. Um, and let's bring him over to the tree, and we'll get Kirk, we'll bring a duck duck rather over here. We might as well. Brokunu. He did, because he doesn't have a berry pour or anything, we might as well use him to collect up the acorns. I accidentally ended the turn there, which was not what I wanted to do, but yeah. Reese, let's move you out. Um, you can go up here, um, which is good. Isco, you can harvest these. And let's pop Kirkaduk here. Oh, <laughs> we found. Oh, God, we found another Wanderer. It's another Spitznout. Why are the ones we always find Spitznouts? Okay. This is Anara. She's got blue eyes, which are really quite beautiful, considering she's a Spitznout. She's black fur with brown her recessive, which is pretty awesome. I really like that. She's getting to her end of her life, but she does have the claw and a berry paw, so I'm actually going to breed her with Kirkaduk just because I want some of what she's got. <laughs> so let's just get Duck Duck to grab these berries for us. And to Vano. Oh god, he's getting quite old now. Harvest these up for us. And then we'll breed him with Eve. Not Eve. Sia, Eve's daughter, once more. And then Lamessa, you can take out this little bunny for us and get that out. Okay, um, Isco, if you come down and harvest these berries for us, now that we've got little Reese here with her berry pour on this bush, we've got 50 food now. Or 50, yeah, which is pretty awesome. Roku, Rokunu rather, harvest these acorns for us because they're really quite plentiful, they're everywhere. And end the turn. <laughs> So we've got a little boy now, and he's got a double berry paw. Oh, that's awesome. So this is Tarota? Yeah, Tarota. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So he's got double berry paw, unlike his sister, who's got double runner leg, like the mother. So he is going to be amazing at getting berries for us. He will probably actually be able to replace his dad eventually when he passes. Um, 
So he's got four on collecting and three on strength, which isn't bad because he's got the ram horns, which is an extra thing. So if they could have like the ram horns and the big body, but then berry paws, it'd be kind of like a really good kind of like average, I guess. So that's really quite cool. And then we also have Kosri. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Now she has a very poor running legs. She didn't quite get the same dark colouring as her mum, which is unfortunate. She's of the spits now, so it looks like that's going to be a prevalent gene in our little pack at the moment. Um, but she's of a very poor, which is good. So that's something. We are. Oh my days. I keep skipping turns accidentally. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, okay. Yeah, we are getting a bit short on males. We only have four. No, we don't. I'm lying. We've one, two, three, four, five. Eh. Mm, that's okay. Okay, Rokunu, please harvest. We do have the ones down here too. So that's just peeking the grass there. Duck Duck, you are getting quite old, my friend. Um, and your mate is dead, so just harvest at these. Isco, um, harvest at these berries. Now, what I do want to do, if we get little Tarota to harvest these ones, and his dad can harvest them, and then Reese, she can harvest these ones for us. We've got a nice wedge of food there, which is pretty good. Okay. Anara, let's... Ah, oh, brilliant. Another berry bush. Just what we want. Now, we can actually bring Kosri out here. Just preparing for the next turn, I guess. And Kirkdu, let's, let's move you along here, actually. And just peek in the grass around here. Okay. I think that's actually this turn done. <laughs> As opposed to skipping it entirely. We do have a bit of dark area here, so we should probably bring La Messi over this way. Ah, brilliant, there's a bunny for us. I really do love La Messi, her look is fantastic, she's really cute. So yeah, let's, let's actually have a look at our genetics. I do want to keep that big body in there, and we are passing the ram horns on, which is good. Maybe we should swap the big body and the berry pour over, just so we have a better chance of getting that big body. Because I do want to keep that, and make it more prevalent. Okay, let's go ahead and skip the turn now. Okay, Torota, little man. Let's just bring your mum out. To Vanu, oh, he's going to die. Let's let's get Sia to breed with him once more, and then we can use him to harvest these berry bushes. Reese, if you can harvest them as well, and Isco do the same. Look, Kosri, it's these names. <laughs> Peek in the grass there. And Nara, you're going to pass away as well soon. Just harvest them for us. Now, if we come over here. Duck, duck. Oh, man, you're going to pass soon as well. Let's harvest these berries. Rokunu. Get these acorns for us. And let's expand the territory. Maybe, yeah, move up there a bit. Hmm. Kirkaduke. Maybe we can breed. 
we'll try it. We'll try breeding him with Anara once more. And then next time we'll move Anara over to the nest. And see if that will make any difference. Hopefully she might be able to actually have the baby. Um, though I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the case. I guess we'll just have to wait and see really. Um, so I think I'll end the episode out here. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the second episode of Niche. Um, yeah, have a good day everyone. Thank you for watching.